hey guys i hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video so this is a very quick tip about how you can clean up your material graphs and turn something like this into something like this these are completely identical but as you can see this is a spaghetti and it's hard to understand and it doesn't look good at all but uh, here we have a very clean material graph which is easy to understand easy to read and overall looks much better this is actually the default material that is used in these grids here so here if you select these guys here go to the material open up the material and then open up the parent you can see that these materials look like this however when we ourselves make materials we usually end up or having something like this so the question is how they have managed to make it cleaner and look like this the key here is that they have used these nodes here which are called material expression named reroute declaration i know the name is weird and i don't know why it should be this long but what it does is very simple actually it has inputs so all the things that you connect to it are somehow stored inside the node and then you are able to use the value somewhere else so what it actually does is that uh, it carries the values from somewhere else in your material graph and this way you are able to uh, set up a clean setup for your material in your graph here as you can see we have this background color a reroute declaration and here it is used for these layers here here we have this grid color which is used here subgrid color which is used here and that's it so let's go back to our spaghetti and clean it up and make it look like what we have here first of all let's separate these chunks of nodes so we are able to understand what's happening exactly so just select them and drag them around yeah now the next thing we can do is to add some comments like uh, the one we had here so the first one is background color and the next one is grid color so just select them all hit c and name it background color and turn the color to green and the next one is grid color and it's orange the next one is subgrid color which is yellow and finally this is grid functionality which is blue this roughness also is somewhere here so we don't need to include it in our comments all right now we want to use reroute declaration nodes instead of connecting uh, these to these layers here using a line here so here just uh, right click search for reroute and this is what we want to use named reroute declaration node uh, let's name it background color and then plug it in you can also change the color as well so let's set it green and now here instead of uh, connecting this wire we can just drag off a wire search for background color and that's the node we made here again you can repeat the same process for all of these here as well so again drag off a wire search for reroute declaration node name it grid color change the color of the node and plug it 
where it's supposed to go. Yeah, that's it guys. You just need to repeat the process for all these guys here and you can uh, achieve this which looks much better and cleaner. Thank you guys for watching this video and if you enjoyed it and learned something new, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Peace out.